The Kleeman Mobicat MC110 is a small mobile crusher and it weighs around 43 tonnes. The first thing that's nice to see is there's a good use made of the box because there's a description of the real machine on the side. There's also a good photo of the real machine at work and that makes the whole packaging quite professional. Inside the box is a pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they're helpfully marked to top and bottom so there's no excuse for the upside down syndrome. Off comes the lid and then the model can just be lifted straight out. And there's no assembly to do because the model is complete out of the box, but there is a bit of packaging to remove, which is the elastic bands on the tracks, and there's a bag containing a few spare track links. Looking underneath, the small metal tracks are nicely detailed, and the rubber conveyor belt runs right underneath the machine. The tracks are mounted on small track frames, but they look good because they're reasonably detailed. Looking up underneath the hopper, the electric motors which vibrate it are modelled in metal. And you can also see realistic looking springs holding the pre-screener. The pre-screen stops smaller rocks getting to the crusher and they drop down and onto the sideways conveyor. Looking from above, the pre-screen is on the left and there are some rocks in the crusher. The main grille on the engine is solid rather than having slats, but there's a nice emergency stop button underneath. Above the main conveyor is a small magnetic conveyor which removes any metals. And unusually for NZG, small brass rivets are used for the connections. The conveyor structure is all metal and the conveyor belt is made of a good quality rubber. Into the Cranes Etc quarry and the Mobicat tracks can't quite roll on a smooth surface, but they are extremely free rolling. They are spring loaded to keep the tension and most of the rollers on the bottom of the frame do roll. As usual, we'll try the Mobicat out on a rougher surface and the tracks bite and they roll very well. Sometimes you need to take a step up and this one's got a little access ladder which can fold down. And if your finger's strong, you can fold it back up. Another feature that allows the model to be posed properly in a transport mode is the folding conveyor, which reduces the headroom. The small side conveyor, which gets rid of the pre-screened material, can be pushed and posed out to the side. Moving up to the top, the screen over the top of the crusher drawers can be opened so you can see inside. It's also possible to remove the grille on the pre-screen, that just lifts off and then you can see underneath. And the Mobicat also features some opening panels. This one reveals a drive belt and flywheel which powers the crusher drawers. And it's also possible to rotate the wheel, and we'll see a bit more of that in a moment. The cover also opens on the other side to see the balancing flywheel, and that turns too. There is one unexpected and excellent piece of model engineering, and that is when you turn the flywheels, the jaws of the crusher actually move. It almost makes you want to get your nuts cracked. Moving to the conveyor end, and the magnetic conveyor has a small amount of up and down movement, which is nice, but it is very stiff. And if you're really keen, you can also make the belt move, but again, it's very stiff. While we're thinking about stiff things, here is something that's long and stiff. Yes, that's right, it's the main conveyor, and the belt can be made to turn, although again, it's a bit stiff. Now it's time to see what the Mobicat Crusher can be used for. It can be used to crush resistance. <laughs> this is another high-quality model by NZG for the Wirtgen Group. Most of the details are executed well, and there's a high metal content and it's got a really good range of interesting functionality. Overall, it's an easy model to highly recommend.